Jack. Are you so calm? Long story. Previously on, Lone Echo 2. Treatment successful. It worked. It worked. Oh. All traces of the biomass forms have been neutralized. It didn't work. The biomass survived the treatment. We learned there's a window. A certain point in time wherein the biomass was still vulnerable. When it could be stopped. However, if we were to appropriate one of the Estrella's remaining FTL drives, the Doctor and I believe we may be able to use it to return both you and Jack to the 22nd century. Field test successful, yes. A bomb. But one that emits a counterpulse that should only be harmful to the biomass. Good luck, Doctor. To all of us. All right, Jack. I let go. I let go. Live. Oh my god. Okay, come on. Damn. Are you alright? Yeah, no, I'm okay. It's just. Holy shit. Yeah. That was. Incredible? Ah, yes, I love it. Incredible? I was going to say terrifying. But yeah. Also, pretty incredible. What about you? You alright? Um, yeah. Yeah, I thought I was gonna fly away there for a second, but... I'm, I'm an expert now, Liv. Of course. I've become somewhat of an expert when it comes to temporal displacement. Though for my own part, I must say the physical method of time travel is significantly more... turbulent. God. Look at this place. This is the correct location, but is it the right time? I think he was talking to you there, Apollo. Cross-referencing astrometric positional data. Stand by. Confirmed. We have arrived just prior to the Ithaca's approach. Hell yeah. I think I see her. There. That bright dot just off rail. Oh. Jack, you see that? Yeah, 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 I do. The, the flashing one. The vessel is closing fast. We have limited time. Then let's not waste any more of it. The transport's good to go. I'm still running diagnostics, but so far everything appears to be in working order. Well, that'll have to do. We're on the clock. Very well. Plotting a course for the Estrella's primary drive bay. Popcorn? You're staying out here. Wait, 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 wait. See if you can find me a way to contact the Ithaca. Local comms just aren't going to cut it. We need a way to boost the signal. Uh, none of that. I promise, as soon as we finish hooking up the cure bomb, we'll come find you. Yes. Now go. For sure. You're my number one Force priority. Transport break prepped for departure. I would advise you both hold on. Stand by for primary thruster burn. Three. Two. One. Whoa. Whoa. Transport underway. Distance to primary drive exchange. 4,600 meters. What's up? That's quite a sight. I should warn you, much of the Estrella remains highly irradiated. The transport's radiation dampener will shield us, but its range is limited. I advise you remain close to the rig at all times. You got it, Apollo. Especially you, Captain Marcus. Yes. Stay clear of flash mounted radiation. Popcorn. Good safety tip. Once we reach the drive bay, we'll need to connect the fuel cell directly into the Estrella's drive exchange conduit. That should amplify the counterpulse sufficiently enough to eliminate all the biomass in the sector. You ready for this, Jack? Oh, I am 
born ready for this. As I see it, we don't really have time to question our preparedness. Yeah, I'm a little scared too. This is so cool. Oh, it got dark. Damn, that looks so cool. Approaching the Estrella's outer hull. Brace for deceleration. All right, all right. Better hold on to something. I'm ready. There's a torpedo. My cure gun should be really effective here, though. The, the biomass hasn't mutated at all. The most direct route to the drive bay is via a surface tunnel just beyond these doors. How do we get them open? I'll need direct access to the local systems. There should be a control station just on the other side of that nearby airlock. Right, let's go. Perhaps those of us with reboot abilities should proceed first. By all means. Lead on. How does this area still have power? There are multiple redundancies in place to protect the engineering deck from power failure, even in the event of catastrophic structural damage. As you can see. Good news for us. Not entirely. If the local power grid is still active, that means the biomass is as well. Couldn't let me have just one bright spot, could you? I don't know what that selection is, but, um, hello? Somebody, somebody in here? Ah, uh, Liv, be careful. The control station is just up ahead. No sign of any significant biomass activity. How long do you suppose that will last? Uh, not long. Based on previous experience, probably not as long as we'd prefer. Oh, close the door controls. Affirmative. They must have suffered some form of mechanical failure. Yeah, I think so, dude. Try the emergency release. You'll have to cut your way in. Oh, Copy. I know. Locking mechanisms released. Doors open. Area clear. No biomass presence. Right in... I can't even... I can't shoot live. Darn. Okay. Uh... Oh, wow. This is it. Jack, I'll need your help to overwrite the local protocols. Oh my god. There's an AI core installed in the upper terminal. Yeah. Remove it and place it in the overwrite slot. Uh, Copy that. Your new data scanner should still be compatible with the Astraeus technology. Okay, great. Once the core, core secured, data port open. Commencing upload. Damn. Overwrite complete. Once you return the core to the upper terminal, I should have full access to all local systems. <laughs> Come back here. In you go. Core locked in. Access achieved. I have local control. Now all I need is the captain's authorization. Right. This is acting Captain Olivia Rhodes. Uh, open the doors. Authorization accepted. Hell yeah. Disabling security measures. Doors opening. Stand by. I'm moving the rig inside. Right, come on, Jack. Let's get back out to the transport and... Captain. What is it? I'm reading movement. Oh no. Shit. Multiple biomass signatures closing on the transport. Oh no. Navcom is failing. I can't pilot the transport with those ticks draining its I gotta systems. get out there. I can clear them off. Stand by. Use the secondary airlock beyond the control station. Yep, yep, yep. It's your quickest route to the transport. I am it. on it. We're on our way. Well, Negative, Liv, Captain. you're fine. You will need to remain inside. The transport is too far out. You would die D in seconds. Hey, right. Apollo. If you die, our mission fails. Oh, damn. My well-being is extremely touching. Thanks. You're welcome. Thank you. Cycling airlock. Stand by. Might want to ready that counterpulse gadget of yours, Jack. Affirmative. I'll signal you when it's all clear. I'm gonna just back up a bit here. Yeah, that's that's probably smart. On the transport, Jack. You'll need to neutralize all of them in order for me to regain control. Acknowledged. That was easy. That should be all of them. Apollo, can you confirm? 
Confirmed. Transport power flow nominal. I've regained operational control. Make sure you pull up nice and close. I'd prefer my insides remain unliquefied. Not to worry, Captain. You'll be well within the dampener's radius. Liv, you see my, my sharp shooting? Oh, that feels so good. That should be more than sufficient for the captain to safely board. Liv, you are clear to exit. Copy that. Oh, this place is incredible. It looks so cool. Come on. Let's go. Engaging primary thrusters. <laughs> How awesome is that? It's like I'm flying through hell. Be advised. Adjusting course. I'm ready. I'm ready for ticks. I see something way down there. Something orange. Course I'm really glad we're not going that way. Brace for thruster reignition. Okay, ready. I suggest keeping your counter pulse emitter armed. Yep. The biomass is likely to be much more prevalent as we move further. Oh inward. boy. Understood. Just how bad is it going to get, Polo? The primary drive bay is one of the most energy intensive areas on the entire ship. We should expect the biomass infestation to be proportionally dense. Oh dear God. You know, you could just say it's going to get really bad. I thought that was what I said. Yeah, he did, basically. We appear to have another sealed door ahead. Affirmative. You have a plan for getting it open? Apollo, you are the best. Okay. Yes. My newfound control of the local systems is more extensive than I anticipated. Certainly a welcome change of pace. Though rather short-lived, I'm afraid. I expect the door to the primary drive bay will require a bit more effort to open. Well, I wouldn't want us to get spoiled. Oh no. Yep, I'm ready. Oh, I am a sharpshooter. That's the last of them. Apollo. Affirmative. Nicely done. I don't think a single tick made it to the transport. I know. Fortunately for you, Captain. Though the ticks do appear to be more interested in the transport than you or Jack. Preparing to resume course. Please hold on. We're on. Maybe I should Let's get go. toward the front. Resuming course. Eh. Eh. All right. I'm at a good spot. I can just take all of this out. We should be coming up on the driveway shortly. Popcorn. 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 You read? Popcorn. Coming up on the driveway. How are things looking your end? Can you find me a way to talk to the Ithaca? There's got to be something in that mess we can cobble together. Keep looking. I don't need much. Just enough to get a signal out. Could be Morse code for all I care. Just as long as the Ithaca can hear it. Okay. Well, copy that, I guess. Keep huh. me posted. How do you understand him? Further, Apollo? The drive bay is just up ahead. After years of tormenting me, I'm your tormentor now. You're dead. That is so cool. Oh, there is just so much of it, though. Oh. Gotcha, gotcha. They just keep coming. Yeah, but they're not getting anywhere near us, Liv. I think oh. that's the last of them. Approaching destination. Reducing speed. That actually... The that wasn't too bad. Is just beyond these doors. Okay. Alright, let's get them open. There's an airlock nearby that will take you to the control station. I see it. Yep, I see it right over there. I'll proceed first. Right behind you. Well, not like right behind me, you know. Take your time. Popcorn? Popcorn? Popcorn, do you read? He's not responding. Wait, popcorn? Radiological interference from the Astraea is disrupting our local comms. That better be it. We should be able to re-establish contact once we're clear of the wreckage. Oh god, I am so nervous. If anything happens to Popcorn, I quit. 
Like, I'm never playing another video game forever. I will never watch another movie. Anything with a plot, I am never doing it again. Popcorn means the world to me. Okay. Those escape pods? That's correct. Do they still work? Surprisingly, yes. The pods are still registering as functional. Ow. Live. Rude. So what do we... Why am I checking these? You're thinking we could use them to evacuate once we finish the catalyst. Well, that is what they're here for. And anything's better than having to backtrack through that mess of tunnels. Very well. Once that is... we've finished installing the catalyst, we'll use the escape pods to get clear of the wreckage. For now, let's proceed to the control station. All right, I just want to make sure I'm not I missing anything. The drive bay has spread to the door controls. What about the emergency there is considerable buildup around the panel, but it looks to still be accessible. I'll take a look. You could use your counterpulse emitter to nullify any threat from the biomass. Jack, could we get a closer look at the emergency release? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, I see it down here. Good call, good call. Excuse me. Don't want to, like, accidentally touch any of that crap. So, we're good? I can touch it? Oh, yeah. Great, great, great. Oh, yeah. No, this is wonderful. Love being right down here. Really magical. Just gonna cut you open. This would have been a great time for that extended cutter. Okay, get out of here. And then we'll use our grip. Got it. Open the door. Through here. Oh, man, this is... This is going way better than I ever expected. We might actually pull this off. Um, there's no thing, though. Do we need a thing? As before, our first step is to rewrite the local protocols. The procedure is identical to the one we performed earlier. Where's the AI core? It's not in the terminal. One of the engineers must have removed it during the initial outbreak. An attempt to seal the drive bay. It's likely the core is still close by. We should search the adjoining rooms. Expect considerable biomass presence. Oh dear god. Go. I'll keep an eye on the transport. I won't be long. Good call. Is this open? Is this like an open hole right here? It is. Okay. Yeah, no, this is... This is great. Oh, it is so claustrophobic. Oh my god. Oh, it is terrifying. Get out of here, Spore. Oh... Boy, there's a lot of you. Okay, okay. Not too worried about you. You don't do much damage. You don't kill me in one hit. Uh... Looking for an AI core. But I don't see anything. Yeah, at the far end of the corridor. The core appears to be intact. Got it. Liv, I have the core. I'm heading back to you. Copy that. See you okay. Oh, it is just the way they do the atmosphere. Excuse me. It's so good. Ugh. And I am safe. Okay. Live on the way. Nicely done. Thank you. Sure the core's in good shape, Colin. Yeah, yeah. For certain Jack places it in the override slot. Um. <laughs> does it does it go down here? Core in place. Oh, okay. Whew. Got a little bit nervous there. Commencing data transfer. Cool. Override successful. Copy. Returning core to upper terminal. Core locked in. Protocol remapping successful. Local access granted. I can now open the drive bay. On your authorization, Captain. Right. This is Acting Captain Olivia Rhodes. Open the drive bay. Authorization accepted. Security measures lifted. Oh, that's a spore. Holy Our crap! Bomb. The biomass has all but overtaken the chamber. It's overriding the existing environment, building a new ecosystem. The infestation is worse than I anticipated. God damn! This is what happens to Earth. More accurately, what will happen? 
if we fail to accomplish our mission. Yeah, we're not gonna fail, Liv. All right. All right. We've got a job to do. So, let's get to it. All right. Captain, I'm afraid given the state of the drive bay, I cannot allow you to accompany us inside. Wait, wait, no, what? I'm not leaving no. her here. I'm staying. I'm with you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. She'll, she'll be fine. Liv can handle herself, Apollo. If these new readings are any indication, the drive bay is far too dangerous an environment for a human being. The odds of the captain's survival are close to zero. Okay, and never mind. Not an exaggeration. Yeah, you can't. Right. You can't come. Well, I suppose as far as arguments go, that's not the worst. It's a really good one, yeah. Okay. Okay, new plan. I'm going to track down popcorn. See if we can work out a way to make contact with the Ithaca. The escape pods are good to go. Follow. Affirmative. I've already plotted the coordinates. Simply climb inside and seal the canopy. Good. Keep this comms channel open. I don't care if the signal gets spotty. I want constant communication. Understood. Come on. Let's get you back to the airlock. Well, okay. You know, I'm just happy you'll be with Popcorn. He He'll keep you safe, but I'm sad that I can't keep you safe. Um, can you can you take off first? I want to make sure the the escape pod doesn't just like blow up. Right, I'm off to go and be shot into space at what I'm sure is a totally safe velocity. Yeah, I'll no, for right sure. Behind you. you look so sad. Do you want a goodbye hug? Am I pointing that someplace else? Nah, you're fine. Good hug. Okay, Liv, you be yes, safe. Jack? I I just let me do things. I'll see you on the other side, I guess? Jack? Yeah? Good luck. You too. You too. You too, Olivia. Be sure to come back in one piece, yeah? I assume that's an order. Bloody well right it is. Aww. Transport is ready to depart. I will do my utmost to navigate a safe route through the drive bay. <sighs> oh boy. Alright, I'm on board. Hold for acceleration. Liv, Apollo and I are making our way into the drive bay. Copy that. I'm closing up the escape pod. Acknowledged. Safe travels. Yeah, to both of us. Holy crap. That is a lot of biomass. Oh, that is intimidating as all hell. Look at the size of it over there. Just taking over the ship. Yeah. Oh, while moving? Boom. I am incredible. Oh, that thing is massive. Ah, uh, okay. Ooh, I see ya. I see ya. No one behind us? Jack, yeah. I'm, I'm here. The wreckage. Great. Are you all right? Ride was a touch shaky, but I'll manage. Still no sign of popcorn. Nothing on Carl either. At this point, all I can do is focus on finding a way to contact the Ithaca and just... turn up. I'm sure he will. Yeah. R right then, I'll, I'll keep you posted. Ooh. Man, it gets intense. They wobble so much when they move. It's tough to track their movement. I don't like the noises in here. I don't like this at all. It is just so creepy. Gotcha. Absolute sharpshooter. Ooh, no. Get out of here. As I was saying, absolute Sharpshooter. There is so much biomass! Duh! Huh? Where'd you come from? Get out of here! Where? Is at 95%. I'm okay. Oh my god. I wasn't paying attention. Oh. Oh. That was terrifying. Okay. Side note. Do not look behind you. Jack. Yeah? You may have a problem. What? What is it? Power to the drive exchange conduit appears to have been cut off. The conduit must be fully powered if we are to sufficiently amplify the counterpulse blast wave. What are our options? 
Our best course of action is to try and reroute power from another system. Then let's do it. There's a junction nearby that should still be functional. Adjusting course. Hold on. Liv, we've run into a power flow issue. We have to briefly divert course. Do what you have to do, but do it fast. The Ithaca fleet is getting close. I make out at least three more ships in the distance. Dang How it. How close are we to making contact? They're working on it. It's just not that much to work with. If I could maybe find one of our old geo sensors, I, I could put it in contact. Oh Liv. no. It might be enough to get a signal out. Liv, you're breaking up. Liv. Interference from the Astrea is disrupting the signal. Is there any way to get her back? I'm afraid there's not much I can do. However, the captain is actively working on boosting the comm signal to reach the Ithaca. If she succeeds, it's possible we'll be able to re-establish contact. Understood. Ah, <sighs> oh, what? That looks so intimidating from here. Like a queen of the biomass. These junction controls should allow you to divert power to the exchange conduit. Understood. Stand by. Um, and I just do this? Incoming multiple ticks. Oh my god, you weren't kidding. Uh, uh, good. A little more heads up next time, Apollo. We're still on here. Still on here. Where? 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 Where are you? Uh, I see you. That's it. We're <sighs> for now. Let's get back to rerouting the power. Returning to junction. Uh, there we go. Is that, that what I had to do? Or maybe, maybe. There we go. Oh. The exchange conduit is operating at maximum capacity. Well done. Return to the transport and we'll proceed onward. Did you see all of that glow red? Apollo, this is not good, man. I think we might be a bit overmatched. How are we going to get this through? Ah, uh, okay. I, I have to do this. For Liv, for Harlan, and for Popcorn. I mean, might as well just kill a bunch of it. Duh, where, where, where? I see it. Anywhere else? Uh, duh. Damn it. Yep. Liv, say again. Uh, there's, there's too much interference. I, I keep losing your signal. Liv, can you hear me? Olivia. Jack, I'm losing you. No, you're Liv, not. Are you there, Olivia? It's no use, Jack. She's not receiving us. Ticks on approach. They're so much easier to hit at a distance. Once they get close, it's like, there's nothing you can do. Incoming multiple ticks. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Oh, God. There are so many. Apollo. There are so many. Jack? Yep. Jack, I don't know if you can hear me. Liv, I read you. If there's any chance you can still hear this, I'm going to keep working on the comms. If I can't... Liv! Jack, we need to focus. We're closing in on the exchange conduit. Oh, it's just everywhere. Oh my god. We've arrived. We'll need to connect the catalyst to one of the conduit's fuel cell housings. Okay. This will allow the device to trigger a cascading reaction that will amplify the blast radius enough to eliminate all the biomass in this sector. Of course. Doesn't matter which housing we use. We should start by identifying which housings are still operational. Look for any housings with a working data port and call them out. Got it. Housing B4. Rampant infestation. Housing appears inoperable. A valid assessment. Housing A4. Negative on this housing. Agreed. That one has green. What about housing B3? Negative. There's too much biomass clogging the mechanism. All right, let's move on. I'll circle the conduit so we can inspect the remaining housings. Shit, what if I just kill all of it, you know, around the thing? Maybe then we could be okay? There is something up there, but it won't let me select it. Uh. Oh, it's so fat. Ugh, a lot of ticks. 
Boom. Uh... Housing D4 might still be salvageable. Biomass presence is moderate, but still enough to be a problem. Uh, oh, they're coming from all directions now. What about that one? Housing C1 still appears functional. Unfortunately, biomass presence around the couplings is too severe. We're copy. Let's keep looking. Wait, 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 wait. There's there's a tick somewhere. Apollo? The you little son of a gun. Excessive biomass presence. Valid assessment. Housing is no longer functional. Resuming flight path. There, there has to be one, right? I mean, we just need one of them to work. The housing looks clear, but the data port is unsalvageable. Unfortunate. The housing might have otherwise been a suitable candidate. God darn it. What about, what about you? What about this housing, E3? I'm afraid not. The infection appears to have penetrated the outer casing. The Ugh. internal components are likely teeming with biomass. Of course. Significant biomass presence. Housing is unusable. I agree. The housing's data port is defective. Nothing to be done here. That one. Agreed. That we one. Seem to be running out of options. No, we there got this one. Housing's left to inspect. Come on. Let's keep looking. It's G4. There. Housing G4. That looks to be our best option. Data port is functional. No visible infestation. I agree. That housing does appear to be our most optimal okay. solution. Well spotted. All Thank you. housings appear either offline or infected. I Damn. believe this is our only chance. Oh my god. Can you bring us within dampener range? Affirmative. Maneuvering thrusters engaged. That is so cool. Oh yeah. my god, it's so cool. Hey, hey, Liv? Signal. Liv. Her signal's only getting worse. You'll need to scan the data port to activate the fuel housing. Ugh. <sighs> Hey guys, how you doing? Oh. Okay. Housing open. Now, use the release controls to eject the old cell. Right, right, right. Both controls must be operated simultaneously. One, two, buckle my shoe. Fuel cell removed. Stand by while I align the transport to the housing. Please keep clear. I will do my best. Gonna keep you safe from the tick menace. There you go. There you go. Catalyst in place. Now use the same controls as before to secure the device. That makes sense. One, two. <sighs> Apollo, what's happening? The power plant's anode coupling failed to engage. No, 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 no. Without a proper connection to the conduit, we won't be able to trigger the reaction we need to detonate. What do Can I do? The coupling be repaired. Unknown. We'll need to get a closer look. Copy. Moving to inspect. Uh. Um. What? Is so tiny. It's almost cute. There was a small pocket of biomass here. That is disconcerting. We should nullify that infestation immediately. Okay. Understood. Infection neutralized. We should probably clear the remains. The nodule is small enough that you should be able to burn it away with your cutter. It would be my pleasure. Biomass removed. What about now, Apollo? Can you engage the coupling? Negative. The damage is too extensive. With the coupling disabled, we have no way to bridge the connection. Then we find a new solution. We have to. The Ithaca's almost here. Wait, can I push it? Just like, ugh, ugh. Ah, can I manually? The of the coupling does not appear possible. Damn it. What if I use my shell to complete the connection? If I hold both the anode and the coupling, the current should pass straight through. Yes, but once the circuit goes live, the resulting energy surge would destroy your shell. Then I'll simply reboot. Yeah, right there. At this range, the counterpulse wave will undoubtedly disable the transport's fabricator. We'll send it away. You would be unable to reboot. What? Are there any alternatives? We could try using the fabricator to construct something to bridge the gap. Though without access to the full archive of schematics, our options are exceedingly limited. Give me a moment to locate and print the most tenable option. Fabrication complete. The component is ready. Try positioning it such that it makes contact with both the anode and the coupling. Well done, Apollo. That was... that was really quick. Uh, okay. If this works, I'll be very happy because I have to get back to popcorn. 
Uh, oh. Ow. You gotta warn me, dude. Oh, shit. We can't establish a stable connection. Wait, what? The component simply doesn't fit. Are there any other components we can try? Nothing in the fabricator's local memory. I recommend we consider other solutions. But, um, can we use the fabricator itself? Apollo, I need you to print another component. Stand by. Initializing fabrication. Uh, maybe if I... Oh, I have Complete. no idea. Although I must once again emphasize the low probability of success. I like that they put a little harness on you. Ah, <sighs> okay, 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 um... There's no other option. No, there I is. to bridge the connection. Myself. There is. I am sorry to say that, but I must concur. What huh. do I need to do? Stand by while I prep the catalyst for diffusion. No, 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 Popcorn. Jack, he needs me. Would you like to try contacting Captain Rhodes again? Oh my god. If it's at all possible, yes. I should say goodbye. Oh my god. I will boost the signal as best I can. Liv. Liv, do you copy? Jack! Jack, are you there? I'm here. I read you, Liv. Jack! Thank god. I thought I'd lost you. Liv. There's a problem. What do you mean? What sort of problem? There's a malfunction. I'll have to use my own shell to complete the connection and detonate the device. What? Jack, no! You can't! The EM surge will fry the fabricator. You won't be able to reboot! I know. I understand. You could die! Jack, wait! Just, just hold on. Uh, let me see if I can find another way for you to reboot. One of your old activation pods. Something! I don't... I don't think there is. Liv, it's all right. I know what I'm doing. No! God damn it, Jack! Listen to me! You are not doing this! I have to. Oh, man. I apologize for disobeying orders, Captain. Jack! No! But there is no other option. Jack! Please! Circuit is now going live. Understood. No, no, wait! Don't! There's still time! I can fix this! Jack! Oh. I can't let you do it, Jack. I don't want to. Jack, it's time. Jack, please! I am upset. Don't leave me! Oh my god. Jack, you have to take hold of the anode and the coupling. I know. Apollo, stop him! That's an order! I am so sorry, Liv. There's nothing I can do. You have to complete the connection. Oh. Goodbye, Liv. Stop it. Goodbye, Popcorn. You're scaring me. For a better future. Here we go. Goodbye, Olivia. No, 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 no. Holy shit. I am, I am speechless. Oh my God, I am not happy like i'm ecstatic okay that was one of the best vr games i've ever played easily into like my top five just 
the movement, the way they change up the gameplay, the story, the graphics, the characters, like, I am attached to this game. And I am legitimately upset. There was like a tear falling in my headset, which isn't good for electronics. Oh, wow. Like, I don't even know what to say. That was incredible. Absolutely incredible. The game was, it was long and there's still so much stuff that I can go back and do. And it was just so much fun. So much fun. Oh, I can't get over this. Uh, if you have not played the original Lone Echo and then the sequel Lone Echo 2, it is, I mean, watching it on the screen is great. You know, you see the story, my amazing commentary, but to live it, to actually be there next to live, to hear her voice in your ears, it is something entirely different and Oh, I am shook. I am like, my, I got goosebumps, my skin is crawling, I'm sweaty. Every emotion. I, I don't have enough good things to say about this game. The only bad thing that I encountered was the texture pop-up. I mean, it got annoying at certain points because you're like, ah, oh, this game can look so good, but this box looks like it's in just, you know, the beginning stages of development. But other than that, perfection. So, so good. And oh, that story. Ah. Now I know that Facebook has essentially killed off their Oculus Rift game production and they're really focusing on the Quest 2, but I really, really hope that this is an IP they do not forget about. The characters, the world they've created, I think we can do more with it. I think it can be explored further. Something like we don't even know if the biomass explosion, you know, the cure bomb, was successful. They they have an option for so many ways this story can go and I I really want them to explore it because I am so invested. So when the Quest 3 eventually comes out and that thing is like, "Dang, what a workhorse. Maybe they can make it work." Um and have it have it then and and show me more because I really really need to come back. Now, obviously I'm going to stay here after the credits see if there is an after credit scene because this desperately needs it, because I don't want to go to bed sobbing into my pillow. Oh, live in popcorn. But you know what? We, we did it. It was a happy ending, all things considered. You know, we stopped the biomass outbreak before the Ithaca got there. Liv isn't infected. We're going to change the future for the better. So, so there is a good, happy aspect, but man, they just punch you right in your emotional nuts. Alright, I will fast forward to any after credit scene, and I will see you there. Never mind, it's already happening. Hello? Oh. Captain Rhodes. Captain Rhodes. That is not my voice. Wait, what is happening? Who am I? Oh. Whoa. This is where I fell asleep. For 400 years. Hello? Oh my god, popcorn! Popcorn! It's me! Oh my god, I am so happy to see you. Popcorn! Whoa. Oh my god. Am I alive? Is this actually me? Easy popcorn. Oh, I live. Going as fast as I can. Jack? Live. Oh my god. Jack. Hi. Jack, I it's really you. I... I think it's really me. Morning, sunshine. Yes! <laughs> Everything's gonna be alright, Jack. Captain Rhodes. Captain Rhodes, this is Ithaca Archwell. Do you have the Echo Unit? Say again, Ithaca. I said, do you have him? That's affirmative, Ithaca. I have him. 
Copy that. Stand by for rescue. Come on, Jack. It's okay. I've got you.